Hi, my name is PJ. Today I'm down at the pier. The theme of the challenge for this week is five kilometers from home. In Melbourne, and in fact, a lot of Australia at the moment, we're currently in lockdown, some of the strictest in the world. You can get out to exercise, go for a walk, go for a run, whatever, for two hours a day, but only if it's five kilometers from home. So that's what this week's photo challenge is gonna be. Uh, but for my fellow Melbourneian, Sydney people, I think Adelaide is in lockdown this weekend. This is one for you. Go for one of your daily exercise walks and take some pictures. I think you will rather enjoy it. I actually came down here the other day specifically for this purpose. Took a photo for the challenge, uh, but it's pretty hard to film when you're down here on your own. I don't have another cameraman. I also wasn't shooting on a tripod then, so I just shot the GoPro. Today, I'm gonna shoot a little bit of E-roll and then just do the GoPro cam again. So let's go into it. Just gonna do a quick recce before I get my actual cameras out and I'll see what I wanna shoot. If I wanna do wide or if I wanna do a telephoto lens like the 135 like I did last week. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is shoot some wides of the side of the pier, maybe some long exposures and stack some people in, pick and choose where I wanna put them. I think that could be cool. Might head to the end, see what a wide looks like down there. And then as the time comes for the sunset, I'm gonna look down the pier and look for some really nice silhouettes with the long lens. Okay, so this first angle didn't really work out as I'd planned. I don't exactly know what I was hoping for. Um, but it just didn't really have the wow factor for me. I don't know, I think the conditions, I'm not super about these cloudy days. I tried to make it quite moody. Um, I tried to kind of make it feel like a painting, but yeah, not super about it. This next shot again, I think was a little bit better in my head. I was gonna grab some wide angle shots of the pier and sort of snap people walking past with a slow shutter and then kind of pick and choose to make an interesting composite. Probably the biggest challenge is no one would walk directly in front. So there was a, a gap that I wanted to fill there. Um, but obviously if your camera is pointed at someone, they're not gonna walk in front of it. This last shot was honestly my favorite shot of the day. I wish it was something that I could say that I planned or orchestrated. So basically just with my Bluetooth remote, I stood in front of the camera, I had it vertical, wide angle at 16 mil, and I was looking down the pier. And I just thought the frame was a bit boring without a subject, so I stood in focus, I shot myself um, with a quicker, slightly quicker shutter speed, and then I shot lots of people walking up and down the sides around me with a slower shutter speed and I thought I'd pick a cool portrait and then paste in some people all around the outside. These are some of the shots that I chose um, for the sort of background for the extra bits and pieces around me. I ended up going with this shot of myself. I don't know why, I just kind of liked it. My legs are all twisted, it looked a bit awkward and this is what the final product looks like. I also added some seagulls in the background. There were a few already. I just clone stamped a few extras in. This footage is actually from a couple of days prior. Um, unfortunately on the day, I didn't quite get the sunset that I wanted. In fact, there was virtually no sunset at all. So this was uh, a couple of days ago, I came down and just shot for fun just to see if I could do it basically I, I knew I wanted to make a video like this and I thought I'd just do a test run um, turned out pretty well I was in two minds part of me wanted to leave every shot in um, but to be honest not every shot is a banger and it's not expected to be in fact probably with this sort of shooting it's half luck and half just putting yourself in the right position and waiting um, I think I got pretty lucky I'd say maybe one in 20 shots were reasonable. 
there was maybe a handful of really good shots from the day. Um, but considering this was just a nothing afternoon, I was just sitting at home in lockdown. Um, I was pretty happy with those those odds, to be honest. There was a couple of shots that I was genuinely really happy with and um, just a nice way to spend a rainy afternoon rather than sit inside on the computer. This was a good test for me as well. I'm only a new Sony shooter and on my Canon body, on my 5D, I would have never ever shot directly into the sun like this. This is about when I knew that there was a really good shot coming. I could see the people walking up and the people walking back were about to line up and the silhouettes were looking good. I know you can't really tell from the GoPro. I'd also lined it up for that shadow with the little ladder on the side there and happened to get a couple of birds flying past as well. So very happy with those shots indeed. Turned out to be my favorite of the day. Tried some vertical shots as well. To be honest, I'm fairly uncomfortable shooting in portrait orientation, but they just look good on Instagram. And to be honest, that's the reason I shoot them. And I like the challenge too. Here are the highlights from both sessions. From the day that I was filming this video, just these two ones, I'm not super about the cloudy conditions. I think it's quite boring and I'm not super comfortable editing them to be honest, but I'm pretty happy with these results and just the challenge was really exciting. From the first day, there's quite a few interesting ones. I got really lucky. I happened to be there at the right time and there was just this perfect 10 minute window of golden light as the sun poked through the clouds at the bottom and just as quickly as it came, it disappeared as well. So it went cloudy again straight after. So I just happened to put myself in the right place at the right time and um, got some good photos. Pretty happy with those. Oh, well, it is absolutely freezing now. I haven't seen the photos yet, but you probably have. The challenge rules are as follows. You've got a week to submit your photos and it has to be shot within five kilometers of your house. Anyway, I had a lot of fun, got a lot of funny looks, but it's a nice way to stay creative during lockdown. Thank you so much for watching. Get your shots in five kilometers from home, get creative, go for a walk, get some exercise. If you enjoyed this, leave me a like on the video. It actually helps so much for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.